Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you upgrade has completed. Thank you, my dear. I have just been advised that I have a new building upgrade in Niger, which is very nice. I'll pause the game for a second while I say hi. Welcome to another edition of Computer Tycoon. As you can see, there is a distressing amount of non-purple countries on the world map today. A lot of it's gone very, very green. And do you know why that is? It's because by looking up there in the very top right corner, you can see the demand for my most magnificent computers by Ajax, uh, both the computers and my PC components as well, is enormous. It's 114 million demand points. Whereas my factories are only capable of shipping out or creating or manufacturing, you know, whatever factories do. You know, yeah, well, it's, yeah it's, it's stuff, yeah. Mechanical, yeah, bits and pieces. <laughs> My factories are only capable of producing uh, less than 79 million po points of production, the measures that we use in the game. Uh, so, which, which has left, unfortunately, some of my lovely, lovely customers in Nigeria, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, Greenland, USA and Mexico, and even in this little corner of Belize, bereft of my computer technology and they've had to go and find computers to buy from someone else. Actually, do I actually have an office in Belize? Let's just check that, shall we? Um, I do. Oh, that is so sad. Those poor people. They're coping with such a pitiful partner for their PC purchases. There's a little bit of alliteration for you there, I think. But yes. Right. Uh, we've got so what I'm doing, what I'm doing, and which what that lovely, my lovely assistant uh, told me about was I am upgrading some of my sites to increase my factory capacity. So if I change this to factory order, there we go. And that was a building upgrade in Niger. Or is it Niger? I, I'm never, I, it's the trouble is you get used to saying some names, particularly names, words as well, but names in particular in a certain way. And then you realise actually that's not the way you're supposed to pronounce it in terms of a native speaker, for example. And for some reason, I have a feeling this should be pronounced Niger. But I've always called it Niger because I, I'm a common English lad. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really a lad anymore. These days. Anyway, that was my recreation centre upgrading to level five. So I can now increase capacity in the Niger factory or Niger to level five as well, which will do go some way to, to making up that difference. I'm also increasing the recreation in Malawi and the office as well One there. One of your competitors went bankrupt. Yes! <laughs> oh joy, oh joy, oh joy. Right, that is our second bankrupt competitor. Brutal Data, the red company, have gone bust. You may recall in the last episode that Massive Modules, the light blue company, went bankrupt as well. So if we go here, we can see that Brutal Data have no countries. Massive Modules have no countries. Whereas the likes of Dator, yeah, they're still across the globe. Uh, who are you? Cheap and great. Yes, uh, IBN, they're the best of the bad bunch, really. <laughs> and finally, Biggs. Yeah, I mean, everyone is everywhere pretty much these days. It's 1986, and we've all got offices in all the open countries, pretty much, I think. Uh, though for some reason, uh, Biggs aren't in Norway. Oh, why are they not in Norway? Oh, I am. Hey, hey. Uh, yeah. So, who is selling in Norway? I'm the I'm the top dog there. Yeah. So, brutal have gone. Massive modules have gone. Um, sorry. Yeah. Br yeah. Brutal and massive modules have gone. Uh, who could be next? I wonder. So, if we look on our share graph here. Oh dear, it's, it's a ripe mess at the bottom there, isn't it? So, it looks like both. Uh, Dator and Biggs could be in real trouble. Looks like only really IBM, the green company, and Cheap and Great, the yellow company, have any chance of staying. They're looking at this actually, the pie chart. Bigs do have quite a good share. If we go to the dominancy chart, it's too small. I can, even with my best glasses on, I cannot read these numbers. 
about yet 91% of the global computer sales market. That's quite a good success, I think. Right, let's go back here. Uh, so, where are we anyway? In terms of our computers, we have recently released... If we go to my computers, click on it, man, there you go. Yeah, we have recently completed the release of our home computer in 1986, just a few months ago, yeah, back in January. It's already selling a lot, um, and it's kind of taking some of the... Uh, customers away from the PC. So I think if we look at our HC here, it is customers, is it? Yeah, 12,000, 12,500 in the last day, whereas on our PC, oh, uh, merely, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, that's not so good, is it? Mm. Could I reduce the, the thing is, I'm the only company selling PCs. So I've, I've got a captive market, and to be honest, uh, is it making money? Uh, is it release here? Yeah, yeah. I, I think it was in the last episode that uh, Andrash, the uh, developer of this lovely game, and uh, more about that in a moment, perhaps, <laughs> noticed that these figures here, which I'd, I'd not spotted, well, if I'd spotted them, I, I'd sort of glossed over them. This tells you how well each PC, how each computer is doing in terms of sales, and in particular, in terms of profit. So yeah, as you can see here, the numbers aren't quite right in terms of the previous day's income and profit. Yeah, I can't really have profit of uh, two, two million and a one and a half billion profit. Yeah, so a little bugette there, which I dare say will be fixed in an upcoming update. And talking of updates to the game, there is one due in February. You may have seen on my Twitter feed and, and indeed, um, the, de the game developers, uh, Andrash's Twitter feed, uh, or the Steam page, or his Discord, there's a big update coming in February, which will give us managers, so people who will give us additional talents, a talent pool to help run our company, and there will also be other stuff, oh, factory, factory management will be simplified, and also we'll have our own office. In some games you may have seen or played, like uh, I think Game Dev Studio or, or Game Dev Tycoon, is it one of the, uh, You get a sort of 3D representation of the office you work in and it sort of upgrades as you develop your company. There's going to be a simplified uh, version of that coming in this game as well, just as a, as a reward to your success in the game. It won't be functional from what we know of the update so far. It will be just a bit like, if you remember the good old days of Civilization 1? Yeah, it was a long time ago, wasn't it? Yeah, if you remember those good old days, let's get the game carry on running. And I'll carry on doing stuff while I'm, I'm talking, if I can do that. So that's upgrading. Uh, we want this to upgrade as well. Uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, yes. upgrade has completed. So those... The, the, in Civilization 1, you had a palace, which as you achieve certain objectives and you had certain successes, then you could add bits to it and make it a most Your building fabulous building. Has completed. Excellent. You we've don't got... have enough manufacturing capacity. Yes, I know capacity. that. Okay, we've increased by over 10 million our production capacity, which is excellent. I'm thinking also we could increase our research. So, yeah, the, the new office in Computer Tycoon in the next big update coming in February, uh, will include something like that, a kind of reward for all your efforts, which is a nice touch, and that will evolve over time as technology uh, increases. Now, what I've been talking for for nearly 10 minutes now is uh, basically in a way of your waiting. Your building upgrade has completed. Not just for the building upgrades, but also our research upgrade. We've finally researched double E prom. Double E prom, double E prom, you are up here somewhere, there you are, and you give me a nice five point feature upgrade, uh, we can use you on the motherboard of all these different types of computers. We haven't got many other big updates, uh, I think, uh, since the last episode, we've also got one of the other ones we did was a stereo audio system, which is an accessory. The sound system, here you are. Well, that gives you 60 points, feature points, and 100. I'm going to say that's prestige. <laughs> I might be wrong. I usually am. Uh, or quality. One of those two. I always get them mixed up. 
Um, so we've got that, which is very nice. We've also got, uh, what was the other one we, we, we did? Uh, the overdrive processor. Where's that? That's up here somewhere. Uh, overdrive processor, which gives me another, oh, it's a, it's a lot about features now, isn't it, in computers? Um, so that gives me 40 feature points. Uh, and it's a way of upgrading older motherboards, apparently. When a regular version of the same processors, uh, where, I'm not sure this is, you know, this perhaps needs to be rewritten for, for proper English grammar. A CPU design option to be used, to be used for upgrading older motherboards when a regular version of the same processors doesn't fit into. And it's not, yeah, it's not as bad as I thought it was. Like the, I think the into is is superfluous there or redundant. Yeah, but this only applies to personal computers. The protected mode support that we're currently researching uh, is a software option. That's down here somewhere. There you are. And that gives me, uh, again, loads more features. Oh, and some ease of use on the operating system. How long is that going to take? About 43 days. I'm not going to wait for that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add all these new technologies, the overdrive processor, the double EEPROM, to my uh, hardware components here, and then we'll build a new computer uh, out of them. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Right, so the first one we want to look at is motherboards. So we've got this one, the 15HPL, which is for home computers, PCs, and laptops. It's compatible with all of them. But this one will only be appropriate to PCs. So it will be a PC. Can't, shall I call it 16, actually? Just make sure it's really differentiated. So it's for only for PC, so I'll disable these design options here. There you go. And so the overdrive processor is now available. Nice. Okay, so we can create that. Oh, we can price it as well. Um, because it's a PC component. Now, people are willing to... Put, um, what I'll do, actually... Yeah, I'll leave that as 450. So we'll create that and I'll reduce the price of my previous one. That one should still be, yeah, that's still quite profitable to so say 400. Yeah, that will do. And these older ones, should we keep them in the marketplace? Uh, we could be, I mean, they're, they're, they're still very good motherboards. Okay, we'll keep you in for no particularly good reason. Apart from that, that yeah, I've, I've decided, but we will uh, we'll archive you. Uh, I don't want to do it that there. We do it here, archive. So if people want to buy that one, they can't. So that should uh, eliminate any pressure on our on our factories. I'm just thinking uh, the E E prom was only for what was the E prom for? Have I just made a, a motherboard I don't want to make? Uh, so restart that. E prom. Oh, it's on a motherboard as well. Oh, bother. And that's for all of them. Oh, heck. Right. Let's go back here. Let's go to this one. And uh, we will copy you. Uh, where's E prom? That should, yeah, replace that with that. Okay. So this is going to be. Uh, We'll call it PCA. <laughs> As you know, PCEE. -E. Yeah, for the double E prom. Yeah, that was a bit silly, wasn't it? So we'll create you for PCs, which means I don't need that one because you don't have the double E prom. And I can now create a copy of this one for my home computers and laptops. So this will just be for HL. Again, 16. And you'll have the double E prom, but you don't have the overdrive processor thingy. So there we go. And we'll actually price you at four. Uh, we, no, we don't sell you separately. No. So you are just for portables and home. That's right. That's good. That's good. You're not sold separately. Only PC components are done. <laughs> have that done to them. Uh, we have, uh, is the EEPROM on anything else? No, that's it. 
So we've got the uh, overdrive processor on the motherboard and the stereo audio system, which is an accessory. So it's the only two new hardware components I need to manufacture. So what we can do then is go here to our new computer and we'll leave our existing home computer as is. Uh, the, the PC should be replacing it, to be honest, so we don't really need them. I just had that as something to compete directly with those people who are producing home computers, which is everybody because nobody else is doing PCs by the look of it. So we'll take you. Yeah, you're not making so much money these days, are you? It's kind of sad. Still selling in reasonable numbers, relatively speaking, but uh, no, that's still not quite good enough. So we will copy you. And you are going to be my first PC of 1986. There you go. And we'll add the audio system to that. Uh, we have got a new motherboard, which is the PC double E. Yep, that's you. So we'll come out there, we'll double click that, and that's added in. Uh, we don't have any new operating software yet. That's the protective mode support. That will add to that and that will give us some ease of use. Which I think, comparing me with my competitors, is the only area here in which I'm falling slightly behind. Because uh, IBM, for example, does have the protected mode uh, support. So they have slightly better ease of use. But that's the only thing they're ahead of me on at the moment. So that's, that's really cool. And pricing, marketing, uh, I think, oh, features is very important to these guys. Capacity, less so. so can I increase that? Uh, which one am I on? I need to be on this one. So if we go to marketing here, they're essential, yeah. Uh, capacity isn't so important, so I'll reduce that to somewhat important. Billboards are very important to sell to casuals. Actually, before we make this decision, who are our customers for the PC, our previous PC? Uh, there you are. And it was mostly, I get mostly casuals. Yeah. Bought it. Interesting. That they're a good, good market for us. So, yeah, we'll stick with that for our new PC as well. So casuals, yep, 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 that all makes sense. A big marketing campaign, why not? I think we can afford it. So we will send this machine into testing. Your new computer model went into the testing phase. That is splendid. And we'll create a new laptop as well. We haven't had a new one since 1985. So we will design this one, copy you. Again, you're my first one of 1986. We'll add the stereo audio system. As far as I'm aware, the portable and PC customers are quite different. Why have I not got... Oh, oh, oh that's, a, that's a graphics card, isn't it? It's the motherboard I'm looking for, which is uh, there. <laughs> I was wondering, why the heck have I only got a 12, not a 16 motherboard? Right, so that is you. We'll add you to the computer. There you go. And again, who's actually buying the laptops? Uh, again, it's the casuals. They do love it. They do indeed. So we might as well carry on marketing to them. Uh, work. Oh, we marketed to workers before. Okay, let's change our focus here to casuals. We'll keep our focus here the same. Uh, we'll increase billboard marketing. We'll keep it as big. Yeah, well, that's what we'll do. So we will send you into test as well. There you the go. The new computer model went into the testing so phase. That'll be ready in a few days. We're, we're only making, well, about four million a day at the moment. Now. Oh, my PC is polished. Gosh, time does fly. I, I sorry, I missed that announcement. So go in here, so you are now polished. So how are we gonna, what are we gonna price this as? Should we use the same price as we did for the previous one? We don't have any new uh, manufacturing uh, processes. We're still on 800 
nanomicron. We haven't got the 600 yet. Um, but I, I mean, our profit on these is is awesome. I I think we might as well. We can't sell all of them anyway. The demand is already outstripping our our supply, so we might as well stay with the high price. So I think, yeah, we will release you. There you go. You're in the marketplace. Uh, I'll take our old one off the market. So I dare say, yeah, nobody's buying it. <laughs> so we will archive you. That's good. Uh, oh, something else is not selling as well. What's that? Uh, it could be our laptop here. So if we go in here. Yeah, it looks like our profit is prof is positive there, which is interesting. Um, that's looking good. So it could be the laptop that's uh, not selling, I think. You don't have enough manufacturing capacity. I know that. So we could reduce the price ahead of... You have researched a new technology. Of, of, uh, of release of the new one. There you go. We're still not selling enough of them. So we might as well withdraw it from the marketplace, to be honest. Yep. There you go. Gone. And our new one should be ready very soon. I hope. Uh, oh, look at that. 11 million a day. Oh, this is awesome. And there are buildings here. Uh, we don't have any... Oh, Malawi, we can bring you up to level 5. Yeah, so we'll upgrade the recreation centre there. I was thinking of increasing... Oh, we've got uh, research done for the protected mode support. I was in thinking of actually increasing my research capacity in the UAE here. Which is another filthy rich country. Uh, oh, we might as well do that. It'll cost me one... A quarter, one and a quarter million a day, but I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm making well, that's I, I can I can afford that. It's as simple as that. Oh, hang on, people aren't buying my computers. Oh heck. Uh, yeah, my competition. If you can see here in the lower left, have been oh Dator have released a PC. Have you indeed? Even though I've now got nearly ninety four percent of the global market. How could you do that? Uh, my my P, my laptop isn't ready yet by the look of it. Is it not ready yet? Well, it should be. It's under testing. Oh, it is polished. Yeah, I can release you now. Uh, so, yeah, might as well do that. That's good. And release you. Uh, good. Yep, yeah, I'm still losing some market share by the look of it. Or well, people are buying You're building upgrade other, com completed. other companies' machines. So, Dator have re released a PC, have they? Yes, they have. Oh, and they're... Oh, actually, no! They're a similar price to mine, actually. So, if we can just look at the PCs. I'll uh, bring... No, uh, they're the only people with PCs, by the look of it. Uh, they're a bit more expensive than mine. And they don't really compare to be honest so I'm not quite sure why people are buying those but it could be that uh, these other guys like IBM with their home computers uh, there you go um, are selling they don't have a new one either do they not uh, Will Bright has released a portable and new home computer has he? Well, I'm not seeing it there. Uh, no, it's that one. Um, interesting. I don't know. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm looking at the wrong list. Oh, I'm an idiot. Right. Uh, William Big. Uh, no, IBM hasn't released anything new. Okay, we'll take you out of the equation. Uh, who has? Cheap and Great have. They've got a home computer... Yeah, it is competitively priced. Uh, again, it doesn't really compete with mine, so I, I'm not going to worry too much about that, to be honest. Now, we did learn something new about marketing. I did notice it told us that. So if we go back to my computer, 
and look at uh, my PC here. What have we learned about marketing? Uh, oh, ease of use is important now. Okay, so bear that in mind when we're marketing our next. I paid my, I paid back my bank loan. That is lovely. Not that it was much, <laughs> to be honest, to worry about, but there you Your are. building upgrade has completed. Right, what have we built in the laboratory upgrade in... Oh, yeah, so we're doing loads of research. So let's get back onto that track, shall we? So what have we got in the queue here? Right, so we have researched the protected mode support. And... Oh, we haven't done the PCS, P, PS2 yet. That's that's just... I thought there was something else in, in my queue. Oh, no, it was a EE problem. That was it. Yeah, I had four things here when I came into the game, and that's that's fine. Okay. It looks like nobody else is really doing any more research. Now, I think IBN have got the copy protection virus um, technology. But I feel like going... Oh, we might as well add all of these, to be honest. Yeah, let's get you in there. And that. Okay. And I think I'm happy with this order. So the zip drive will give me performance and features. The three inch bay. Should we move you up? Yeah, above ball bearings. I mean, to be honest, uh, the ball bearings, the cooling and the noise and so on, the heat from my computers isn't a big deal. I don't really suffer from that at all if we look at mine. Uh, so the design here, yeah, so my heat and noise is, is minimal compared to, say, <laughs> Cheap and Great or Dator or even IBM. No, they've got all sorts of weird power supply. That old brick still. Good grief, man, you are so out of touch. Right, we are currently have 94% of the global computer sales market. Uh, we're in July 1986. Things are doing very nicely. And oh, our lab was upgraded in the UAE. It is quite an impressive looking research lab, this, isn't it? This is the whole research site, the ca research campus in the UAE for computers by Ajax. That's lovely. Oh, I'm overproducing at the moment. Heck, uh, do I want to worry about that? I'm not going to. I'm just going to, I think, reduce capacity in one of my factories. Let's get that down the other way. There go. Uh, so many of them now. Oh, M Malawi. Do we want to increase? We'll increase the, your capacity in Malawi, but we're not going to use it for the moment. So we'll just take that back. I mean, I'm earning 10 million a day, so I'm really not too concerned. That you demand isn't quite as good technology. as it used to be. Well, yeah, demand has dropped off quite a bit, actually. But, I mean, the, this this is an awesome number, isn't it? 94.18% of the market. And everywhere's... Have we, are we in Greenland? Uh, can I click on Greenland? There you go. Have I got an office in Greenland? No! Let's open one. Let's turn Greenland purple. Thank you. Uh, Your building upgrade has completed. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not re really prepared to allow anyone else to sell computers anywhere else in the world. So, is there anywhere in this world <laughs> which is not purple? I can't go to Cuba yet. They're still communist. Uh, as are all these other white countries, I imagine. Angola... Benin. Oh, I didn't realise Benin was uh, had gone communist for some point in their history. The Western Sahara. Actually, Western Sahara. Oh, I can go there. Go on, then. Let's do that. Nice. That tidies up that end of Africa. These other countries there all still... Ooh. What's that? Oh, oh but Albania still, of course. Yeah. Got to wait till 1989, I think, for that. Uh, 12 million a day, and nobody else is selling computers. I'm, they must be selling some somewhere. Yeah, if you look here in the US of A, uh, they are selling some. The thing is, do I want to engage in a little bit of a price war just to, to 
kill them off, basically. I mean, their PCs are that much cheaper than mine. I mean, I could reduce my price, couldn't I? Let's do that, shall we? And let's reduce that to 5,000. I'm still making a fair amount of money. Oh, and oh, demand shot up very briefly there. <laughs> Good grief, that, that was extraordinary. And the thing is, oh, hang, hang on. Oh, I'm not producing enough. That's why I get yeah, my factory. Get Malawi. Malawi, come back in into use. There you go. Bring you back on board. And we're fine again. You have researched a new technology. Got the zip drive. Everywhere is purple. And I'm nearly 94.5% of the global market. This is wonderful. Research is just rushing along now. It is. We've got the PS2, we've got the zip drive, we'll have three inch bearings. Now what I think I will do, I think I should be okay to survive, I think, for a few more months. And then we'll, uh, and I'll wait until I get the, I think the 600 nanomicron. Which will reduce my, manuf oh, copy protection virus. Someone else else's researched that, so let's bring that one up to there which will give me some nice ease of use features and features uh, on the operating system. Yeah, we'll do that. Actually, yeah, because I've now got two new OS technologies, the protected mode support and the uh, virus protection. So that would be nice to add to, uh, to my computers. And these are all... Oh, who are you? Data systems. Nope. You're not having that. Oh, I've only got one LP left. I need another logistics office somewhere. Have I got uh, a level one anywhere left here? No, they're all level two. So, okay, we'll increase uh, Bangladesh then. Yeah, to level three, which will give me a, a good few more logistics points which will allow me to take over any other little upstart outposts. And in a couple of years time, well, possibly three years time, thereabouts, when the uh, the Iron Curtain falls, we can go into uh, into the uh, communist block. Hopefully, well, some of, some of it at least. And that, that, that will be it, really. We will have, we'll have uh, yeah, taken the world over. Right, uh, I think I've got a little bit of a wait until that research is complete. As you can see there. Uh, actually, let's get the nanomicrons up a bit. So I'll, I'll wait for that to happen, and then we'll come back and see how much more of the world Your I can take over. Has completed. So, yeah, we've got the logistics office. That's fine. I'm earning 13 million a day. I've got 94.5% of the global computer market. And I have two bankrupted uh, a company. Uh, didn't brutal you have data researched a new technology? Didn't brutal data go bankrupt? They did. So why is he still there? Mm, maybe maybe that's only updated at the end of the year. Perhaps I don't know because massive modules. The blue company have definitely gone from there. That's true. Uh, personal computers taking off. Uh, portables not doing, mm, not doing quite so well. Before we depart, then a quick look at our sales figures. Then, for have I not released my portable? Oh, I didn't archive it, did I? Did I? I archived it by mistake. You great pranit. No, it doesn't say it's archived. No, it's not archived. What are you talking about, man? It's still selling. Why? I'm not quite sure why it wasn't showing up there. Uh, there it is. Yeah, well, strange. It must be my eyesight. <laughs> Playing silly beggars again. Right, yeah, so that's it. Uh, as we take over more and more of the world. Uh, in fact, there, I don't think there's any open country here 
which is not dominated by computers by Ajax, this lovely purple world. It's the best colour for a world, isn't it? Well, apart from Ajax post orange, but I'm not playing orange in this game, so there you go. Anyway, yes, thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Computer Tycoon. If you have, it'll be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Click on the old thumbs up button. Even better though, if you've got anything to say, if there are any hints and tips you can give me for this last stretch of the game. There can't be many more episodes left in the series as I bankrupt all my opposition. Uh, yeah, if you've got anything to say about the game or what I'm doing with it, then please do let me know by dropping a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, you here in a new technology. Computer Tycoon. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.